So you start by throwing the robot in the pool, then you need to choose a run cycle. There's two run cycles on the Hayward Tiger Shark QC, which represents the QC in the name. There's a quick cycle, which is a 90 minute run. And then there's a full cycle, which is a three hour run. This is the three hour full cycle in this video. It's a good pool cleaner. It does its job. It's definitely better than doing it manually, but I have three things that I don't care for on this specific robot. The first thing is it gets stuck on the drains. If you have drains like we have here in the video, it doesn't do it all the time, but sometimes it will hit those drains and get stuck, basically just sitting on that drain rotating to the end of its cycle. So it doesn't clean the pool because it's stuck on the drain. Watch to the end of the video to see an example of what I'm talking about. The other problem that I have is it doesn't have a swivel in the power cord. So as it's running, the power cord gets tangled up, and then as you see in the video here, it keeps kind of pulling it toward the side of wherever the power cord is. So if the power cord's very tangled, it's not gonna reach all of your pool. It's gonna constantly go into one area because the power cord keeps pulling it through the water. The third thing that I don't like about this one is it uses paper cartridges for its cleaning cycles. So it probably does a better job filtering the water but those paper filters get dirty quickly, even after spraying them out, you know, over the weeks of using it. And it degrades its cleaning performance because it stops allowing a good flow of water through the robot. So it's all about the flow of how much that robot can suck through it to actually clean it. And if those filters are getting dirty, it's blocking the flow of water going through the robot. So you're constantly having to buy new filters for it and they're not real cheap. So it's just one more thing that I don't care for it. But overall, it's a great running pool cleaner. It does exactly what it needs to do. And if these three things that I've mentioned in the video don't bother you, then I'm sure it will be an excellent pool robot for your pool. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that the video was helpful. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. Thank you for watching. And if you keep an eye out in the next few seconds, you'll see that the robot hits that pool drain right there on the backside and it gets hung up and that's it. It just sits there and moves until it ends its cycle.